um, I would say that, you know, I get out here about an hour and a half before I start work, before I start streaming. And first thing I'm doing is I'm just firing up Streamlabs, making sure and walking through all the scenes, make sure they all look right. And then I'm, uh, if I have any topic, I'm writing it down in your last minute notes, doing a little bit of research, pulling up the websites, getting those all prepped up, making the scenes are prepped to the website, starting up the game, whether it's uh, Steam or Xbox, getting that loaded here, making sure everything's working right, any updates on the Xbox or, the, or PC or anything like that, make sure that's all good. And then um, I usually hop into Code Rules channel to, to give him a little, uh, a little hype because um, he starts streaming about 7.30 usually. 7 um, the days before I stream. And, um, so I go hang out in his channel a little bit as I'm still working on some stuff and I do a little bit of modding for him, usually 15, 20, 30 minutes or something like that. And then I, I go back and I finish up my prep and that's when I start doing my, my advertising. And for me, advertising is going on to various websites to post my link, going to my discord to post a link, other discords to post my links. Um, going onto Twitter, Instagram and stuff like that, posting stuff out there. I used to do an Instagram live before every show. I stopped doing that because really there wasn't hardly anyone ever coming to them and it just was something extra that I had to do. So I stopped doing that, but I still post links out there. Um, and then I go into various forums on Reddit and other places and I, I, I kind of spam myself out there it all, all so I can just get people to come and start the stream. Um, because like I've said a million times, when you start streaming, no, you're, you're invisible, right? Nobody knows who you are. So you have to work your ass off in order to get people to come to your stream. Now there's, a, there are multiple ways to do it. The things that I mentioned are not necessarily the things that you need to do. They may, they may not be the things that work for you. There may be other things. Um, but it's what I do. It's, it's the routine that I, I like doing that I find works best for me. And, um, but I also have to be, I have to love to be honest about it. It may not be what always works for me. I might find that I start doing these things and then I'm not growing at all. And I have to try something else. And that's something that I just have to be prepared for. Um, you can't fall in love with whatever it is you're doing today because it might not work for you tomorrow. And you have to be open to change. You have to be flexible to change. And you have to be honest with yourself when you find that, you know, your kind of growth is stagnant. 